Oh, I'm sorry. Is this a working office and not a French beach? Hey gents, my love of The Office and Jim Halpert is no secret. I did a video on him where he went from slob to suave. You can see that video up above. But what I love about him is as he transformed, you can see he goes from this sort of scraggly haired office worker to a very kind of dapper, palm slick back guy. But it's a very unique one and I've always tried to capture that. And so for the past few months, I've been experimenting with different pomades and different styling clays and actually getting a blow dryer because as you can see in my kind of wave, it doesn't really accomplish the look that I'm going for in the later seasons of Gym in the Office. So today I'm gonna go through a little bit of a tutorial to show you how I can get that look and how anybody can get that look. Because if I can go from this to more of an up and even, a little bit more volume than most people can, it just takes a little bit of experimentation and trying out some different products and techniques. And of course, Jim Halpert, always clean shaven in the office. I have this little bit of beard for No Shave November, men's health, very important. So I'm going to go take a shower and then I'll clean out a little bit of this product, get my blow dryer and show you the ways you can accomplish that clean look of gym in the later seasons. All right, so I'm washed off, ready to do the next step. But before we get into that, let's, let's take a closer look at some of the hallmarks of what we're going for, and then we'll get through the tutorial. All right, so in Exhibit A, we can see that John Krasinski has just always been a handsome dude, with the exception of an interesting turn that he took in 2011 with his hair. He's a great looking guy. In early days of the office, he just had this standard cut. But here is where some of the signature parts of his hair come in. So you can see the wings right here and they come out behind his ears. And those remain prominent through the entire series. And then if you look here at the length of his hair, this also remains consistent through the show. It never really gets longer or shorter than at this point. Here's another good example where you can see the flaring behind the ears, and then it's only a, a, about to his eyebrows or so. And here is just Jim being Jim. And this is actually right before he starts to make the transition, which Karen Filippelli starts, and then it gets solidified later in season five and beyond. So here we have an early version as Jim is going through the transition into this new style. So you can see the kind of curls as it goes up uh, in the front, but we still have the signature kind of waves and the flaring behind the ears. And so you still get the character of Jim, but he's starting to be more refined at the stage. And you can also see in these lines here, it's really only about four, maybe five inches in length. This photo is one of my favorite reference photos because I do think of this as one of the ways that he starts to look more refined. So you can see that there isn't a hard part right here, but you do have the split between the top and the sides. You do have some length on the sides here, but not a lot. You still have the flaring behind the ears. I like to call these the wings down at the bottom, but you have this really nice clean pomp up at the top. And the characteristics of that are also just that it looks more, uh, it looks like he did it himself. It looks like he ran his fingers through his hair, although he was most likely professionally styled uh, on the set. But there's also, there's not a lot of volume here. You just get the characteristics in the front and then everything else looks like it was just kind of done uh, on its own. Another good example right here where you have the clean lines up in the front, kind of flat in the back, but then you see the wings back behind the ears. And same thing here, this is actually uh, John Krasinski's signature kind of cowlick here, the way this comes up and around. I think in other uh, hairstyles they were kind of fighting it, but then they just kind of let it go from here. But then you say have the same length on the sides, a little bit of wings. And then this is Jim as a manager. He's not quite totally refined yet. You can still see he's going to the sides. He has a, he has a lot more flair around the ears. In later seasons, that kind of gets cleaned up uh, and looks a little bit better. But if you look at John Krasinski overall, I mean, that's just the way his hair naturally flows. Uh, right here, it's nice and long, and you can see it coming out on the sides. It doesn't flare around the ears as much, but you get that, you can see the wave, how it forms on his head in most situations. Same thing here. 
So for me, the problem area is always about here. My hair naturally does not want to sit at that point. For him, it seems to just kind of go up and to the side. Uh, and then here's that curl that we see through many years of gym. And here he's totally cleaned up. He's got a little bit in the ears I might trim off, but uh, totally clean back on the side, looking great in a beard. And you can just see in his natural wave uh, that, that side of his head. So what I really need to combat is trying to get some more volume into that front right. Uh, even if I don't, even if I'm not going for the John Krasinski or Jim Halpert look, I just like to have more volume in that area. So like I mentioned in the beginning, what I really need help with is some of the volume right here in the front. And you don't need a lot of length. I really tried to grow my hair out because I thought that I needed the length to get there. But you don't really need that much, you know, for the most part, Jim's hair never really comes below that. So for the tools that I'm going to be using, I need a blow dryer. I'm going to be using high heat here. I have pre-styler, which is critical to keep your hair protected in the high heat, and Clutch XL from Salon Guy. Both of these products came highly recommended from Matt at TDM Style. He, I sent him tons of pictures in the past few months trying to get this right. So check out his channel. He does some really great hair and hair product and other videos, tutorials for style. And then a rolling ceramic brush. The big thing with this is I bought one that was too big. This is a two and a half inch. And when I bought the first one when I was trying to do this, I was using like a three and a half inch. It was way too big. I wasn't getting the right curl. And then you don't necessarily need this longer toothbrush here. You can just use your fingers, but I like to use this one. And so start out with the pre-styler here and get this all in. I like the smell of the pre-styler, but I love the smell of the clutch. All right, I like to try and get the part pretty close right here. I will go back and get it with a brush, but I like to go there. I got some wings out here. And now keep in mind that I've been trying to get this right for a couple of months. I'm still not all the way there, but I'm getting close. But you'll see that I can, I can get pretty close to what I'm looking for, and uh, it ends up working out pretty well. So I will get my brush here and then just start drying all the way. Something else too with Jim's hair is he always has a little bit of volume right here, so I try to dry this a little bit so that it'll stick out just slightly. And like I mentioned too, so I always have trouble getting you know, I have this wave that goes across, and so I want to make sure I get enough hair built up here so that I can get kind of a nice uh, flow through here and you can already see that you know I've got the volume that I'm looking for and now I just have to kind of uh, tame it from here my hair is pretty thick so but yeah I got, got a lot of it in there And what I also found is that because of the way that it sits, I don't need to really dry the back here. I really, I'm, I work on the front a little bit. The back always sits kind of low. And then over on the side, it's just that little bit of puff over on the side I like. And then from here, I'm just gonna bring it all forward because I'm, I always have to fix this kind of curly wave right here. So I'll bring it all forward. Then I'm gonna get the product in and then kind of form it to its final shape. I don't use a ton right here.
right now I'm just going to kind of bring it off to the side and this is where you can you can really do it with your fingers but I like to bring in the uh, longer longer brush So here is where having the longer hair is where I start to get this kind of wave in the back. And you know, John doesn't always have that long of hair on the side, but what the volume in the hair dryer ends up doing here is to really kind of smooth out this curve, which usually drops down, and then I don't really have, you know, it's character for me as far as, you know, it's like a signature for the way my hair looks, but I'm trying to, to boost it a little bit. And so this is pretty much where I get to. Now, you know, Jim always has more of a uh, disheveled, it always looks like it was just done by a, a regular guy down in the mirror, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but having that extra volume is what I think, for me, brings it closer to uh, John's look, so. Uh, I usually have trouble, I get a comb this back part down. Guys that watch my videos will be very familiar with that. Oh, and then also make sure you get your wings. Get your wings out. Down there, get your curls out. Because he usually has it like out, it's up in his ear, out here, so bring it out. I like to kind of pull and tease that out. From there, try and comb this down a little bit more. So that is as close as I can get to for now. Still trying to get the technique quite down. I think what I need is uh, a little bit, a little bit less formality to this wave, a little more, you know, hand work. But my hair doesn't naturally go that way. But what I really want is more of the shape. Um, more of that pomp style, and so that is where I'm at today. Gotta to fix that a little bit. Um, let me know what you think. How close did I get? And uh, would you like to see more videos like this, where I try and get into some more hair stuff? Because so far it's been an absolute pleasure to. I've been cycling through. You know, I've been trying the Dollar Shave Club stuff, I've been trying uh, Hans de Fuca, like all those brands you guys have recommended have been great. Salon Guy has been excellent, highly recommend this stuff. I actually wore, I went through the whole, I have a clutch non-XL and I went through that whole package. Um, and then having the pre-styler, you know, I, I've read about Pink Pedro's, like the, the salt and, and everything. And so, uh, I'm gonna go shoot a few more videos so you might see this hairstyle pop up in a couple of more, but let me know what you guys think. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.